this is the line. Of course, it's gonna be some foolishness. This is the line for everybody that need to verify their taxes. And then it goes, it's around the corner, if you can see over there, it's around the corner. They trying to tell people to go home. They finna have some problems. These people been standing in line. They cussing, they fussing. They got that poor security over there trying to handle this crowd. I don't know, this, this don't look like it's gonna turn out good. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about some tax day drama. As you guys know, today is Monday, April 15th, 2024, tax day. If you file your taxes after today, there will be penalties, there will be some issues. Now, the video I play at the very beginning of this video is related to tax day, but it's not quite what you may think. That video may remind you of the Mo Money Taxes drama back in the day. Remember that? So if you guys don't know about Mo Money Taxes, I'll tell you briefly. Mo Money Taxes was a janky tax preparer that was promising high returns, all this, that, and the third. Well, they wound up being a scam. It was a lot of fraud going on. And a lot of people had issues with their money, not getting a return. Maybe they never got it back. I have no idea. But there were mobs of people at these offices trying to get some answers. Although that video reminds you of that, it's not that. This is the fault of the IRS, of the federal government. Yes, it is. Let me tell you what's going on. 99.999% of those in the line you just saw in the open the video were there because they already filed their taxes and they got a letter in the mail. And that letter said, hey, Come on down to the IRS tax center and verify your identification in person. And if you don't do it, you cannot get your tax return. Oh, yeah. Now, I have my theory why this is happening right now, and it's not been a real thing before. But before I go any further, let's get into the actual news clip. If you want to see the clip Without my commentary, of course, link as always will be in the description. If you're on IG, visit a link in the bio, go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Turned away after waiting hours for tax help. There was a line in front of Atlanta's Tax Assistance Center today as they held extended hours ahead of Monday's tax deadline. And our Atlanta News First reporter, Brittany Ford, spoke with people in that line who blame this all on a lack of organization. This was the line in front of the IRS Tax Assistance Center Saturday. People wrapped in blankets in lawn chairs as early as 6 a.m. ahead of the 9 a.m. opening. Is The line is around two corners, three corners. This one, four corners. It's four corners long. The IRS held the extended hour Saturday ahead of Monday's tax deadline. No appointment needed. People were able to get one-on-one -on -one help from an IRS representative. But See, they're not talking about the real issue. Hopefully, in this video, they'll get to the real issue because it's not even about trying to get tax help because, again, the majority of these people, I would say probably 95% at least, have already filed their taxes. They don't need help with tax preparation. What they need is to get their identification verified to get their return on the taxes they already filed. But Atlanta News First learned many of them didn't come by choice. All, all I need to do is verify my identity and that's it. It's a, 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 a tiny process, but still in all to wait this long. Almost everyone we spoke to had already filed their taxes, but received an email or a letter in the mail similar to this stating they needed to come in person. Okay, so let's read some of this right here. Why we're sending a letter. We received a tax return for the tax year 2023 using your name and SSN or individual identification number, ITIN. If you did file, you must call the 1-800 number to schedule an appointment at your local taxpayer assistance center. We need more information from you to verify your identity and tax return information so we can continue processing your tax return and issue a refund or credit any overpayment to your next year's estimated tax. We can't process your tax return until we hear from you. Now, if you didn't file, you could do other things, but that's usually what's going on. They got to verify your identification. Now, I've never in my life seen this ever. And it's funny because you got all these black folks in Atlanta with their ID ready to verify the identification to get their own money back. But to go vote, that's seen as racist to show ID. 
make that make sense. Getting my own money back, I got to show you ID. To cast a vote, no ID. Okay, cool, cool. To verify their identity before but guess what? their re- but But guess what? I don't have to show my ID to pay you your money, now do I? I can pay you money all day long, IRS, and I don't got to show you no ID. But to get the money back, I got to show ID. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Keep that same energy when it comes to voting by the administration. The fund could be released. Kept calling the phone numbers. It's such a hassle just to get through the phone numbers and get information about what's going on. You're not going to be like calling the phone number, trying to call the IRS on the phone. Good luck. You're never going to do it. You're never going to do it. What they want you to do ultimately is go in person because you will not talk to an IRS agent on the phone. Okay. It, you, you're going to be there forever. Like you might as well just the time you spend trying to get them on the phone, you would probably be better off waiting all day to go to the actual in-person place. That'd probably be quicker than trying to get somebody on the phone. And I'm not exaggerating. If anybody's ever tried to talk to the IRS on the phone, give me your experience in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. Going on and what you need to do. I finally got the phone number, said I could verify over the phone. Try to verify the phone. No, you have to come in person. Frustrated and fed up. Let's, let's let's go back a little bit and hear what she said because I didn't want to interrupt her. Listen to what she said very closely because some say, oh, just call the phone number, ABL, that'll work. No, no, no. Listen to what she said. East. Kept calling the phone numbers. It's such a hassle just to get through the phone numbers and get information about what's going on and what you need to do. I finally got the phone number, said I could verify over the phone. Try to verify the phone. No, you have to come in person. Frustrated and fed up. The last day to file your taxes, April 15th, is Monday, right? But guess what? We still going to have to verify after Monday. Dozens of people in line had no other choice but to wait. Yes, I want my money. I work for this money. It's my money and I want it now. Hopefully it's over soon and everybody get their money because it's time to get paid. In downtown Atlanta, Brittany Ford. Atlanta. I, I love Atlanta. I promise I do. Love Atlanta. Love it, love it, love it. But let's keep on going because this was not just Atlanta, Georgia. Also, Houston, Texas. Same thing. Let's check it out. It is tax day and lines are already forming outside of the Southwest Houston IRS office. Yeah, so we saw some big lines, long delays at the same office over the weekend. We've got ABC 13's Brandon Hamilton here joining us in studio with the very latest on the whole situation. Yeah, it's busy as we can see already this morning. Now the IRS says they will be staffed when offices open this morning. They hopefully want to avoid what we saw on a Saturday. Now you can also get help. Can I just say right now, the federal government, I hate. I really do. The IRS sucks. The government sucks. They, they're really bad at this. You know what's going on? I'm going I'm to just say it. I'm going to just speak my mind. What's going on is they're trying to delay the money being doled out because they may not have it. All right? People are not trying to pay their taxes. They're trying to do other things. Rich folks leaving the actual country. They don't want to pay. Now, I've heard some conspiracy theories about how the system works and how it's not really funded and they don't have enough money. There's some kind of delay going on because I've never heard about this kind of procedure ever happening before. Are we trying to cut down on fraud? I can't tell. After the C-19 scam, damn it, where half of all of that was fraud, they had no problem giving that out, but I'm getting triggered. Hope over the phone. So that is important to know because the IRS says many issues can be solved by just calling. Here's a live look now at the center on South Gessner. You just saw it their line already forming. So that number to call is 844-5455. That ain't going to help. Like, don't, don't even do that. Like, don't even call on the phone number. Good luck. Go ahead. I mean, you could try to call it, but you're not going to get through. I've, I've been there before. I'm, I'm really getting upset thinking about that, what I had to go through when they stole some of my money, when they tried to say that I didn't pay my quarterly, when I did pay my quarterly. Talking about, oh, you owe X amount, five-figure dollar amount, and you about to get a lien on your... Let's, let's keep on going. It's like over the weekend at the IRS Taxpayer Office Assistance Center on South Gessner. You can see the hundreds just standing in line trying to get help during a walk-in service. Instead, the center closed early, leaving many with no answers or the help they wanted to file the taxes by today's deadline. Those delays, according to the IRS, was because too many people showed up. HPD also had to be called to help with crowd control. I came up here 
and it was just a whole bunch of commotion. There was a lot of people outside. They saying that somebody got to a scuffle or something like that. It's horrible. Like when you literally have to get on the bus with a newborn. Apparently, she's one month, and just sit outside and wait. They don't want to come to the door and tell you anything. Um, it's, 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 it's a very unpleasant experience. So the same thing happening all over the country. A lot of black folks, of course, because you're going to be in a lot of these black areas, Houston, Atlanta, but a lot of white folks, Hispanics, everything out there as well, as I just saw in this recent clip. And it's happening all over the country, some of the smaller cities. Now, I don't know, as I close, I don't know why people got letters talking about verify your identity. I don't know who got it versus who didn't get it, but that's the issue. People have filed their taxes legitimately and they get a letter from the IRS saying, hey, go down to the IRS center and verify your identity in person. That's what they say. They try to verify over the phone. Nope. Go down and verify in person. So you're wasting your time trying to talk on the phone. You got to go down to the actual place. And when you go to the place, it's improperly staffed. So you're going to be there all day and you might not be able to get what you need. That's going to cause a lot of the refunds to simply not get doled out because you're going to get frustrated and quit. I think that could be the goal. Maybe I'm reaching. Maybe I'm wearing a tinfoil hat rather than the ball cap. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What do you think is behind all this rigmarole with the taxes having to go down and verify in person with a photo ID? Funny how that is fine to get your own money back from the federal government. But when you want to vote for people in the government, Showing your ID is somehow seen as racist. Make that make sense. But whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. I think this is the federal is trying to stall because they don't have the money to give to you. That's my opinion. I don't know what other explanation there could be. They have to understand that when they do something like this, when they say, hey, go down in person to verify your ID after you file to get your tax money back. There's going to be people that are just going to be flooding these places. Like they have to understand that. And if they don't understand it, that just points toward the incompetence of government. If they do understand that, then that points to the corruption of government. Other way it goes, we got an issue. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share and subscribe peace